Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to add whole numbers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem here that has three whole numbers that we want to add to, well, not to, 21,357 plus 861 plus 8,596. We're gonna use the traditional method here and I'm gonna write each one of these in a vertical stack. Let's start with the 21,357. Underneath that, I'm gonna put my 861 and I'm gonna make sure our corresponding values line up, our places here. So 861, again, one's place, tenths place, one hundredths place. It's the key to make sure they line up. The last number, 8,596, again, underneath that, I'm gonna write this. We have the eight in the thousands place, five in the hundreds, nine in the tens, six in the ones place. Then we're gonna add them together. Okay. So now I wanna do is go vertically here. Seven plus the one gives me the eight, plus the six gives me a 14. Four stays or goes down here, one goes into the tens column. From there, we wanna keep on adding these numbers up. I like to pair things up where I see them. One and nine give me a 10, that makes it easy. 11, or five and six gives me 11, and 10 plus 11 is a 21. Put a one here, and I put a good old two I carry right there. Same idea here, I try to find pairs that I see. Two and eight make a 10, and then three, uh, 10 plus three is 13, plus five is 18. So I have an eight here, I carry the one again, put the comma. Now we have one here, a one here in the thousands place, a zero for this one here, don't worry about that basically. It's not written, but we just imagine it's there. So one, one, and eight we're adding together. One and one are two, plus eight gives me a 10. A zero goes here, carry the one to the 10 thousands place. From there, I have one and two are the only digits or numbers in the 10 thousands place, add them together, it gives me a three. And so when we add up all three of these numbers here, 21,357, 861, and 8,596, we get 30,814. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.